All right, good afternoon, gentlemen. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. I know it's been quite a while since the previous episode. I'm sorry about that. I've been busy with some other things. But um, yeah, here we are. Everyone continues to tell me that these next two episodes, the first two episodes of season two, are like the season finale for season one. There was a writer's strike and some things got screwed up. But um, yeah, they just kind of shifted that over into season two. I'm very excited to see how the season kind of ends and then where we go from there. And um, yeah, I'm a bit sick, so maybe I sound a little weird. Hopefully that's not too big of an issue for you, but um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into this episode. I don't really have much else to say other than the fact that I'm incredibly excited to continue watching Breaking Bad. So yeah, here we go. Alright, starting off a little different than usual. Starting off a little different than usual. An eyeball floating in someone's pool. Okay. A little odd. Alright. This is a really cool atmosphere to it. Alright, here we go. Season 2. Kind of season 1 still, but yeah. Alright, we're back here. But it is every bit as pure. Okay, so they're replaying this scene from the previous season. Also, I forgot to mention, hopefully you guys like the new format. Um, put the camera down that's there. Hopefully that's not shit. I think it looks better. Okay, so they changed the music of this scene, and it gives it a completely different vibe. But I like how they included this. It puts us right back into where we left off, just in case people kind of forgot. And the color grading is really cool as well. Red is really popping. Uh, but yeah, it puts us right back where we were. In case you forgot anything, I guess it was like a year or two in between seasons, so. Four years of college. $360,000. Remaining mortgage on the home. That's insane. I can't believe American schools are that expensive. This is probably freaking Jesse out, huh? Just freaking me out. Eleven more drug deals and always in a public it's place. Definitely not gonna be eleven more weeks. It's gonna be much more than that. Yeah, but that's cool. He's after just seeing that guy get beat to death, he's like counting the the minimum days he needs to stay in this business until he can get out. What the hell? What's wrong with him? What's the matter with you? I didn't see this yeah, coming. Do something. He, he needs an ambulance. He, he needs a hospital. Do something. You're smart, right? <laughs> do that. Do that thing. Holy shit. What the fuck? Why did I think that that was cyanide or some shit? It's not a spy. In like World War II. Yeah, now Tuco's like, can't do him like that, man. next level insane. But I'm just saying, you know, that's not very Christian. <laughs> no, I, I, I just think we're done here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the tension of the scene is so good. It's just Walt, right? You just a little freaked out. Hey. She gonna ask what's up with the hat and why are you like this? Hey yourself. Well you can't answer when I'm calling you. Yeah, he's just completely freaked out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Walt's acting like a demon. What's going on here? Guy went crazy. Little does she know it's not the cancer that's making him freak out. Walter Jr. definitely looks a little bit older. Does he though? I don't know. I think he does. 
This is how Jesse's processing. Is getting some backup. So far, we're off to an incredible start. This episode's really good. To kill us, you would have done it at the junkyard. What is that? Conjecture? Are you basing that all that he's got like a normal, healthy brain or something? Did you not That's true. see him? It is him or us. Do you understand? It is him or us. <laughs> Jesse's gonna go kill Tuco, yeah. I'm sure that'll go well. How many bullets does that gun even take? Is the shot gonna go off? Or no, he just doesn't know how to reload it, huh? Bit of a tonal shift. Figure out how to use the little knives and forks. I wonder if that ever happens. All right, I'll let you go, so call me. She's a complete freak. Like, she's just batshit crazy. Look, it's, you know, it's just... Oh, boy. I, I, what, does she have, like, therapy or something? Such an iconic duo we have here. Okay. She's a... That was a cool scene. APD sent this over. This was about eight or ten days ago. You know Southwest Aniline, right? Yeah. Here are boys. They smell like feet. This Walter and Jesse. Check this out. There might. Another trade. Ah, uh, wait. I take that back. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what I commented on. Uh, stealing the hand truck? Oh, okay. Try rolling it. Yeah, bro. try rolling it. That's exactly what I said. It That's what rolled. I said. There we go. I'd say these two know the chemistry. But ranking them as burglars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trust these two to break into the Special Olympics. They got book learning. The Special no Olympics. <laughs> Holy shit. Kid. That's so funny though, as, as smart as Walt is, he didn't think to roll the barrel. And I love how they brought that back and actually commented on it. There's Tuco's car. Just scaring them a little. Mm, that's crazy how he just backs up just a little. Oh, he's leaving. Yeah, that'll make you go insane. People watching you. Endangering your family. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, Walt's on edge completely. Oh, uh, no, no, well, not all of it. I, I did have a, a touch of <coughs> my stomach. It's good that he can just like cover everything up, up down, so with his cancer. Like, why he's acting so weird. It's a good alibi. Journalist. KGB modified the tip of an umbrella to inject a tiny pellet into the man's leg. And we're talking about an amount not much bigger than the head of a pin. He killed him? Yes. That's cool. Scary, but cool. Maybe, um, we got... You wanna, you wanna sit down first? I don't know, Hank. Depends on whether or not this is gonna be about Marie. <laughs> yep, it's about Marie. Grace. Yeah. I almost got arrested when I went back to return it. And Marie won't admit it. She won't apologize. <sighs> yeah. I thought you were gonna return it. I would've... Oh, Hank knows. You 
you knew about this. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I mean, Dave is really good. He's, yeah. But it's, it's an ongoing process, this guy. And we, we have got to be understanding, you know? I mean, There's no uh, way. Me. The almost 40-year-old pregnant woman with a surprise baby on the way. And the husband with lung cancer who disappears for hours on end and I don't know where he goes and he barely even Holy speaks to shit. me anymore. Who somehow always manages to be the center of attention. Because God knows she's the one with the really important problems. That was a phenomenal scene. It's a horrible hug, Hank. From meth to just straight poison. I really like all of their montage scenes. They're always really well done and the music is always great. Hi. And how much salesmanship do we really need? That degenerate snorts anything he gets his hands on. Okay, well we'll just put a pin in that then. But he's not really trusting them right now, so maybe he'll give it to someone else to try. You know, like, he'll, like, like Tuco won't take it, he'll be like, yeah, my friend's gonna try, and then his friend is gonna die, and then he's gonna get really pissed. Yeah. For the flu, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. You been home yet? No. Why? Well, uh... Because I really screwed up, man. And oh, okay, that scared me. Oh, okay. I mean, with big mouth, I guess. Well, well that, that, you know, it happens, it's... No problem, no worries. Hey, well, thanks, man. Where are the cops right now, though? Really... Oh, yeah, hey, man, don't, uh, don't let me keep you. Actually, I'm at work, so... Oh, hey. <laughs> are they at the junkyard? Yeah, gotta check out this crime scene, me and, uh, me and Gomi out here, just a second. They're at the junkyard, aren't they? And they just found that body? Yeah. Guess it could be worse, huh? Be having a day like this. Yep. Holy shit. Oh, and the other guy's dead, too. Guess they pissed off the wrong guy. Holy shit. And Walt? Yo, <laughs> the timing of the show is always crazy. No, it's my no, gun! I need it! No, you don't! <laughs> Not if you leave. They're gonna be fine. Might want to shut the door, Walter. I'll be right there. Yeah, someone's gonna find that. Skyla's gonna open that box, or Walter yeah, Jr. Oh snap! Damn, Ricky, leave something for the coroner. Hank's attitude is insane. Like, this is the most gruesome shit ever, and he's just keeping, like, a lighthearted oh, attitude. <laughs> like, I don't know. Hey, someone called Jay Leno. <laughs> the world's dumbest criminal. Like, this shit's insane. He bled out. Poetic justice. Oh, I love it. Don't you just. Hey, hey, get a photo of me with this guy, right? No, that's I'll insane. Stomp you here. Make sure you get the stump in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane, man. Holy shit. Is she gonna realize she has two phones? Let's hope that's just Walter Jr. being dropped off. Oh, it's Jesse. What the hell are you doing here? That I did not Get in. see coming. He's gonna have to explain this to his wife. Uh, 
This episode is so good, man. Holy shit. Oh, and the way the car screeches and everything, so good. Everything adds to the atmosphere. Is that how they're going to end it? Oh, okay. Alright, that was a good little cliffhanger there. So I guess the next episode is the supposed season finale. Let me go ahead and mute this. Um, obviously, I, I think this was actually my favorite episode out of all of them. It was just truly insane. Like, everything that happened with Tuco, um, everything that happened with the cops, it, it was just, like, incredible. I feel like maybe the budget was increased a bit. I don't know exactly how much time was in between these two seasons. I should probably search that up, or I guess some of you will let me know. Um, but yeah, the color grading's a bit different. The overall atmosphere of everything um, is a little bit different. Still, obviously continuing the same story, but everything just feels... I don't I don't want to say, like, more gritty, but there's just something a little different about it, and I can't exactly put my finger on it. Uh, but again, phenomenal episode. I'm really excited to get into the next one, the last one. Um... And yeah, that was just I, that was just really good. So, I, I hopefully you guys enjoyed my little end of the episode conversation here. I know it was kind of pathetic. Uh, I'm not really speaking English, but um, yeah, just overall, again, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction. Uh, when we finish the next episode, I'll probably have like a end of the season conversation, which might be a little bit longer. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe not. Uh, either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. Hope to see you in the next one.